In order to comprehend the future of human technology, or even that of alien civilizations, we have to talk about life itself. We have to talk about energy. Make no mistake, life is all about energy. Just consider the food pyramid. Plants get their energy from the sun. Herbivores then consume the plants to steal energy for themselves. Predators come along and dine on their herbivores and steal their energy. And then a privileged apex predator gobbles up those as well. And then of course humans come along and eat absolutely any of that they choose. Humans have an insatiable hunger for energy, especially as its technological culture continues to grow. We eat up more and more energy, most of it harvested from the planet itself in the form of fossil fuels, but also in the form of geothermal and wind energy. And guess what? Our energy consumption will only continue to grow as we roll out new methods to consume the Earth's non-renewable sources and better harvest energy from its various renewable sources. If this trend continues, we'll eventually reach the point where human beings command 100% of the Earth's energy. We'll become true masters of the planet and a type 1 civilization. But we're not there just yet. Of course, we're talking about the Kardashev scale devised in 1964 by Russian astronomer Nikolai Kardashev as a means of measuring a civilization's technological advancement. And that includes alien civilizations, civilizations intelligent and technologically advanced enough for us to detect their energy profiles. The more energy they consume, the greater their level of technological advancement, and Kardashev scale provides us with a rough means of measuring just how advanced they are. Type 1, Type 2, or Type 3. But of course here on Earth, we're not even really on the scale yet. We're Type 0. Join us next time for Part 2 as we explore the Kardashev scale and discover just when we might move up in the universe.